Hi guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're on a more serious note of YouTube. I'm not gonna be doing a haul or a day in my life type of vlog because today, I want to share something very special with you guys. I want to share 18 things that 2018 has taught me. Personally, I think that 2018 was one hell of a ride and I think I speak not only for myself when I say that because 2018 is um, it's like living your best year and your worst year at the same time and it's pretty much indescribable but yeah 2018 was the year of really big changes in my life first of all i graduated high school this year 2018 was also the year that i had to move away for college 2018 was also the year that i started college and i met a lot of new people 2018 was also the year that my grandmother got sick so my mom had to leave us so she could take care of her 2018 was also the year that i haven't gone home for a very long period of time it's the longest that I've not been with my family but on a more positive note a lot of good things also happened this year 2018 was the year that I learned how to become independent because I live far away from my parents 2018 was the year that I got to adapt to these changes because college really widened my perspective about pretty much everything so without further ado here are the 18 things that 2018 has taught me number one all is as it was meant to be Whatever state you're in right now, it's because God has a plan for you and someday you will realize that this happened because this is supposed to happen. And just don't worry about what's happening with you right now. Just deal with it. Take it all in and deal with it the best way you can. Because trust me, there's always something better that will come along. Number two, hard work always pays off, okay? Sometimes you think you're not making progress, but trust me, you are making progress. If you want to achieve something for yourself, you have to work harder than everyone else. If you want to have something, you should strive for it. If you want to be a writer, write. If you want to have that silver play button, make more YouTube videos. If you want to be a lawyer, then study. Not everything will come right at you. Sometimes you have to go for it. Sometimes you have to work hard for it. Number three is always be open-minded and kind. Realize and understand that not everyone is raised the same way as you do. People come from different walks of life and hence people behave as if differently. And there's always an explanation why some people act that way which may be rude or mean to you but there's always something behind that so you can't really judge people. And also, do not hesitate to give out compliments. For example, you like the way someone dresses, don't hesitate to give compliments to other people because trust me, it will make their day. Just don't be afraid to be kind. It never hurts to be kind. Number four is adapt, okay? Not everyone is willing to adjust for you. Sometimes it might be harsh, but it's true. Not everyone is willing to make changes in themselves for you. So sometimes you have to compromise with other people. Number five, if receiving things makes you happy, trust me, giving would make you happier, okay? Whatever it is that you can give, donation, food, love, money, or clothes or even just a simple smile give it to other people sometimes a lot of people need it more than you do number six do not let your insecurities eat you up everyone is insecure about something it's not just you number seven do not compare yourself with anyone their journey is not your journey whatever it is that you want to achieve i'm telling you you are gonna make it but the first step trust him and trust yourself Number 8. Time spent alone is not always a lonely time. 2018 is the year I learned to eat alone outside, run errands alone, and sometimes spending time with yourself could be really beautiful because you get to reflect, you get to realize how really do you do without other people. You get to know yourself and you get to really learn more about yourself. And I think it's really, really nice to be able to be with yourself sometimes and to be able to withdraw yourself from other people sometimes. Number nine, your morning routine matters. Trust me on that because mornings dictate how the rest of your day will go. In the morning, feed yourself, feed your mind with the most beautiful mindset because trust me, the rest of your day will be beautiful. What I do in the morning, I fix my bed, I eat breakfast, I work out if I still have time, take a shower, do my devotions, plan the rest of my day, and start working. Because I find myself more productive if I do that. 
Number 10, loving yourself doesn't always agree to narcissism. It's not always selfish to love yourself because you deserve the love you freely give everyone else. 11 is that it eventually gets better. Yes, without any sort of explanation. You just wake up one day and you're not as upset anymore. And if you're having bad days, just remember this quote by Parker Palma. A bad day ends in 24 hours. You can always start again tomorrow. Number 12, organize your stuff. Clean your room, declutter your desk, clear your mind, have a brain dump journal, over prepare, then go with the flow. 13, transform your thinking. Okay, mentality is everything. Think of the more positive side of things. I used to overthink a lot, but the day I realized that I shouldn't dwell on my sadness and anxiety and I shouldn't let my emotions eat me up, that's when the day I received the greatest mental freedom that I have up to this day. 14. And probably the thing that we all keep telling ourselves. Procrastination won't get you anywhere. Okay, do it now or don't do it at all. Force yourself to work. Discipline yourself. Even just two minutes of work will get you somewhere. 15. And something I learned the hard way. Simply sit and observe while in public transportation and you'll be surprised at how much stuff you learn by doing so. 16. Do yourself a favor and listen to some good music. 17. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. Lastly, to work on yourself is the best thing you can do. First, make an effort to know yourself, accept your flaws, work with your flaws, Change the things inside you that are not good for you, make peace with yourself, and always strive to become better. And just like that, 2018 has come to an end. Those are just a few things that this year has taught me. I hope you learned a lot like I did. Happy New Year guys! May 2019 be our best year yet! I love you guys and make your life count!